If you're using cloud code, there is a problem. There is no way to clearly see how many tokens you used and how many you have left, depending on your pricing plan. Let me show you a tool, a free tool that may help you with that. So this is an example of my cloud code prompt and during that prompt it shows the amount of tokens but it doesn't really mean much. In comparison, cursor gives you the dashboard so you can see how many tokens you have used, what is the actual cost, whether you're on the plan or you're paying for the API usage. So for every prompt there's a cost or if the prompt is included in your plan, which I exceeded this month already, it would say included in pro. So Cloud Code doesn't have any of that. The pricing depends on your usage and in the official docs. This is how it is explained. You can use Cloud Code both on your Pro or Max plans. So you can pay $17 per month or $100 per month. Cloud Code is still accessible to you, but with different formula. There's so-called five hour window, which counts as a cloud code so-called session. And as you can see here, let me zoom in a bit more. Every five hours, it allows you the limited amount of prompts or tokens. So for pro plant, they estimate that it's not a direct number. It's not a strict number. It's approximately from 10 to 40 prompts per five hours. If you exceed that, you will be prompted to upgrade your plan or switch to API direct usage, which is really expensive. And by the way, in pro plan, you can only use Sonnet 4, not Opus. In max plan, it's still the same five hour limit, five hour session, but much bigger limit of prompts or tokens but there is no anthropic dashboard of how much you used already. And this is where I can show you a tool called CC Usage. There are actually multiple tools trying to calculate your tokens and other data, but I've tried this one and it's really impressive with its simplicity and features. It's really easy to install with BunX or NPX or NPM, and then you can run commands while doing your cloud code work, in a separate terminal, you run one of these. So for this session I showed you in the beginning, I have a separate terminal for the previous session. So earlier in the day, I started at 10 a.m., ran a few prompts, shot a video, and then went away from computer. So that session is already over. That's why it's saying no active session block found. But during that block, it estimated that I used that many tokens, which should have costed $1.29 if I used direct API pricing. Now let me show you what happens if I start a new Claude session. So for example, let's exit the current one and start Claude again. Yes, I trust the files. And then in that terminal, we can run CC usage blocks dash dash live, which will try to calculate the usage. For now, it didn't detect anything, but let's write a prompt. Just a simple question for testing what is Laravel version in this project, I meant. And then it starts calculating the tokens and the seconds. And now we hear the live session. Started at 3 p.m. I added 85 tokens with 7 cents. It would have been. I'm currently using Pro Plan, but this is what it shows in live mode. Basically, for me, it's for reminder how much time it's left in the current session. But personally, I don't use Cloud Code or AI that much because part of my work is creating content, not only writing code. But anyway, this tool can give you approximation of what's left. But not only that, it may give you the stats for previous usages. So if I stop and just run CC usage without any parameters, this is how much I've used. If I used API pricing directly, that many tokens per day for input and output. Also in the docs, you can see other options. For example, we can do monthly. So this is my monthly cost. I started using Cloud Code with Cursor. I'm actually using both only recently in June. So this is my cost so far. And yeah, you can check out usage other options with a lot of features. And the author of this is Rio Pipi from UK. And that repository has 5,000 stars already. So a lot of people have that problem of tracking Cloud Code usage or predicting that. And this tool is one of the tools to help. Do you have any other tools to calculate or predict cloud code usage or warn you when your five hour window is approaching to its limits? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.